to race Fernando Quadra. Anderson rolls in here top five in the points without a win yet this season. And if that sounds strange, it is for Greg Anderson to go this deep into the year without having hoisted a trophy. He'd love nothing better than to turn it around here, one, to potentially move him up in seating in the countdown of the championship, and two, well, kind of like Steve Torrance. He's tired of people asking him, when are you going to win again? Fernando Quadra, proud father over here in the green Mustang. Third member of that Corral Boots team and the driving force. A very sharp businessman, family man. He's always had a passion for NHRA championship drag racing. Kind of stuck his toe in the water back in the early 2000s and then a natural disaster ruined his company. He said, I got to go back. I got to rebuild, but I will be back. Well, at that point, the boys were pretty young. At this point, the boys are old enough to join the team, and they are all involved in racing. Greg Anderson on the left side, Fernando Quadra in the right side. Winner has to face off with that yellow and black car next round, and that has been a tall task these last few races. Greg's ready. Fernando's ready. Red light. Fernando rolled in and just dropped the hammer too soon. Greg Anderson. Johnson's horsepower garage side, 6.595, 207 miles an hour. Greg Anderson has low ET of race day, at least so far. Greg Anderson, 6.595. Fernando goes 669, but he was 036 on the wrong side of the tree, and Greg Anderson got himself an appointment with Troy Coughlin. Didn't they just do that a couple of weeks ago? I think they did. 